I think it's always a mistake to think that anything Vixu produces was designed in a certain year. Of course, this chair was first produced in 1962, but that's not when the design finished. We've investigated 50 years' worth of the chairs. We have pulled apart chairs from the 60s, the 70s, the 80s, the 90s to find out what worked well, what didn't work. It's been almost a, a conservation and restoration exercise as well as an industrial design developmental uh, exercise to get to the point we have reached. Nearly every component on the chair is bespoke. We've re-engineered most of it to improve it. Sometimes we've gone through an improvement phase and actually come back to the original and decided actually they were doing it pretty well to start with. But yeah, most parts are bespoke. The, the panels are made of sheet moulding compound. We're using tools from uh, 1975. Enormous lumps of steel, uh, beautifully um, machined. You basically lay the sheet moulding compound into the tool and then it's compressed um, and heated uh, to form the part. They're then painted to achieve the finish that we want. We've re-engineered the chipboard out, so we're now just ply base and ply sides. We've changed the shape of the ply sides so they're stronger. And then overlaid over the top of the springs um, is a coconut mould choir material, which is formed by basically shredding coconut husk, um, mixing it with natural resin and then putting it into a mould. It achieves a really, really nice feel and we know it will last 50 plus years. I think it's our duty as a company to make sure that that component, that most important component that makes the chair comfortable is going to last a long time so the customer has it potentially for a lifetime. We've decided to use uncorrected leather. Not many people are aware that a lot of leather is sanded down to get a smooth finish and then has a texture printed into it. Whereas we've very much wanted to, to have the, the natural grain of the, of the animal hide. Even a bit of felt is engineered to make sure it fits properly. There's a bit of shrinkage and expansion to do with moisture. The nylon bearings and the felt spaces give quite a nice sort of rumble to the chair as it, as it rotates. It's a genuine kit of parts, so when you look at it, you might just see an upholstered armchair and compare it with any other upholstered armchair on the market. But the fact is, if you buy just the upholstered chair, you now have the possibility to create a two-seat sofa or a three-seat sofa or as many seat sofa as you like. And it's that ability to adapt and change which is so important. One of the areas where we have put an inordinate amount of effort is to the uh, spanner and the screw that holds the chair together. Got two little magnets in the end of the tool, clips in so you can just use it and it's enough strength just to sort of give the customer reassurance that they're not going to slip with the tool and scratch the side of the shell on the chair. We cannot go on continuing to make products, but specifically make furniture that no longer fulfills its function and therefore ends up in a hole in the ground. We cannot do that. Our focus at Vitsuwe is if we're going to go to the trouble of making something and selling it to a customer, is that we make it to the very best quality possible that, so that it will last as long as possible. And it's that thinking that we are seeing is so relevant now to the 21st century.